Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back to Hogwarts. Alright, so, last episode we were in the restriction section, restricted section, and now we have to go back and meet uh, Professor Figs. So let's head on there and let's go meet Professor Figs. I wonder if I get a sneak out of here. Doesn't look like it. Wait. Oh, so I just waited right there? That's pretty interesting. Just sat there on the floor all night. <laughs> all right. Here we gotta go. All right, let's go in in there and talk to him. Oh. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir. I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. <laughs> Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. He was already on his desk. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. Well. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Mm. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Nice. Oh, so I guess that's and what we're don't doing neglect next. your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Nice. Let's go find out what we got to do now. Open quest. Herbology class. I guess that's where we're going. We're going to herbology. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, no. the training dummy is still available. Ah, oh, that's good Meet to know. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Oh. 
So maybe we should go there first. World map. And... Oh, I have to go all the way down there. Alright. Interesting. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Awesome. So we have more defensive spells that we're going to be able to do. That's good. Let's go do the Herbology class. We'll do our classes first, and then we'll get into the other stuff afterwards. I think that would be a good thing to do. What's that smell? Is she growing Pungus Onion again? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Garlic. Laura dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> we do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in Herbology is knowledge. The prudent Herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the Mandrake Root. Oh, the screaming root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Damn. Quickly, take your mandrake in the new form and pack down the soil. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Um. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Smack a bit mature. <laughs> uh, okay, so now that was a our next task pretty will be easy. Dittany at our potting tables. Mm, I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to Herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. All right. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy. Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion. As you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? 
introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Obviously. All right. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. <laughs> All right. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. <laughs> oh. I did, oh. actually. It was great. Thank you. <laughs> Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. All right. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost... Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Uh... Toss the cabbage. That's not exactly what I wanted to do. I'll be... Aha! And then... Look at that! They'll chomp them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. <laughs> Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. <laughs> Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. <laughs> Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Nice, nice. Time. I'll see you back in class. <laughs> I'll take a few more of these. Why not? They come in handy. Well, looks like we got everything here. Let's head on back, talk to the professor. I probably went the wrong way there. Seems like I went the right way. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. <laughs> Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Awesome. Thanks, Professor. Herbology I class complete. I are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? What? The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time... Alright, so what's the next thing that we're doing here? Let's go into... Our quests. Uh, we'll do potions class next. There we go. Shouldn't be too too far. Last time I saw you. What a 
am I missing? Get over here. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school? All right, let's start potions class. This is gonna be fun. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. Nice. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. <laughs> well, were you supposed to put in that much? Didn't seem too hard to do the potion. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Oh, your hands on a potion. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Sounds good. Let's do it. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Collect. Okay. Proficiency I collect in potions stuff. are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. <laughs> but she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll get you the whooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Whooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Your Alrighty. Witcher wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the fwopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Awesome. 
Uh, over here now. Should you chop the Denny or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your uh... eyebrows. Which one did you want me to take? The Endurance one? Yeah. That's all it does, it take 25 seconds? There you go. We got our potion. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's uh -oh. not supposed to. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Get it. Get it. Oh. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. <laughs> what now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not... I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Nice. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Cool. So I guess that finishes that class. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Beautiful. Potion class complete, ladies and gentlemen. We are potion students. Oh, my robes are going to reek from their inspiration. Good stuff. So now I guess we can go meet the other person outside now. We'll do that. Well, located on the map. Can we... I guess we can't, like, go there. Or maybe we can. Oh, that was just a waypoint. Looks like I'm going to have to run it. Oh boy. Alright. Looks like we got a little bit of a hike. Probably because I haven't been there before, so I can't just go there. I should investigate. Investigate what? This? Revelio. Aha. There's a field note in here. That's cool. So in there, I got a little bit of money. I ended up getting a new gear. Headwear. This is better. Guy looks a little goofy though, but that's cool. All right, so here we are. We're gonna meet this good girl. To see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? 
I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Yeah. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard <laughs> some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. Sounds good. In the good. meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I, I beg your pardon! How dare Revelio. What's going on here? But, Mummy! Archie, I don't have time to argue. I told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, Mummy. They're beautiful. These horses with wings. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Very well, Mummy. Well, if there's stuff to loot around town. What's this guy? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here. Just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. Well. All right, so let's go check out the quests that we got to do right now. Trials of Merlin. We've got a bunch of side quests. We'll get to those uh, eventually, I guess. Let's uh, go do this one right here. Where is this on the map? Well, it's nearby, so... After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts... They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Mm -hmm. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! Oh, it's a duel, man. 
Get out of here. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh. Okay. That was pretty close. So two against one, buddy. You're toast. Get my little orb. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. <laughs> Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. <laughs> Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. He was Slytherin, was he? I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> you see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Sure. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. All right. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay, okay. Oh, this swirl. <laughs> okay. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. Oh yeah. What should I do yeah. now? Light it on fire. Incendium. This is uncharted territory. I am curious about incendio. Merlin's beard. The flames make the pyre sink. Okay, so there's more of them. Okay. Sweet. How beautiful. What a day. I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can <laughs> indeed. However, I now have even more questions. 
How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Mm, that was cool. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. <laughs> nice. Very nice. All right, so that's where we're going to complete uh, this episode. Uh, we did pretty good. We went uh, into the restriction restricted section. I hate that word. And then uh, managed our way to come out here. So that's Greetings, pretty good. young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. All right. Well, we'll get into that next time. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, peace, take care. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.